Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel, the place where we turn complex tech into simple steps. In today's video, we are diving into Vizier, a powerful tool that's changing the game for HR teams and business leaders. Whether you're a people manager, an HR analyst, or just someone who geeks out on data, Vizier lets you unlock workforce insights like never before. From tracking employer trends to planning smarter for the future because in this video, we will walk you through how to navigate Vizier's interface, build custom reports, and use its powerful analytics features to make data-driven decisions that really move the needle. Let's begin. Now, the first thing you should do is go to the official website, which is going to be vizier.com. On the top corner, you have an option to get a demo. Or take a tour if you click the get a demo all you have to do is provide all the information needed and click the get a demo similarly to take a tour provide all the information needed and begin the tour but what i want you to do instead is gonna be there's a better option in trying the 30-day free trial you get admin privileges on your secure sandbox environment free trial no credit card required right now all i have to do is provide all the information needed and you will be given a link for you to activate and click the start trial option click that button and the visitor is going to load the workforce for you or the platform now the loading times may vary depending on your internet connection so make sure you are connected to an active internet connection you are not using any any virus software or vpn because that could interfere but if in case you cannot access a visitor you might want to use a vpn instead because visitor is employing a strategy called geo restriction on specific location or region all right so we'll get back to you once everything is set up because it's you need to click the enter trial all right wait for it to load and what will happen is once everything is set up the uh, vizier ai or the platform itself will give you the perfect opportunity for you to access the interface you see there's going to be four sections on the top corner which is going to be the projects data tenant and settings we'll go which section all right so we're going to go to the projects first now the project section here is going to be where you organize and manage your analysis work all right you can create a new project each containing dashboards visualizations and insights built using the tools so you have the option here to create a new project we're going to do with that click on the plus button display name for example now for the display name we're gonna do is description here click the create button okay so it'll load up containing all of the dashboards and insights from the tools think of it like a folder or workspace for your different hr or business analytics task all right you can also share projects with others to collaborate within that team now you have the model here you have the analysis analytics objects concept and a lot more data enrichments data types dimensions explanations metrics settings and tags so we're going to create our first analytic object you can choose from the analytic object type is it going to be a subject event overlay internal comparison plan analytic object so for now we're gonna create an event click the create button but again if you have created another object here it's up to you on the time all right so we have created that you see there's gonna be a model for each if you go to the model sections here and begin to hover to the concepts it has a different settings if you want to create analysis you're also welcome to do that just click the create analysis here and then you're going to be given a lot of options from these because 
you will be forwarded here but the, make sure that the datas are correct because you're going to encounter an error such as this one we're going to skip this for now and then go back to the home page you see you have the data if you want to connect your business calendar all right you can download a template for the calendar if you click on it or you can use a gregorian which is default select that if you don't have any file just skip it for the connectors you're going to be having you have the option to create connectors but for now if you don't have to click the add new you have all these all right amazon redshift amazon s3 bamboo hr big query and beta so these are going to be some of your options to create a connector all i have to do is follow with these steps select data provider authenticate save credentials and add basic information you have the data categories and data flow which is kind of like they work both hand in hand jobs mapping so we're not going to dive deep into this all right you can do that on your own time on your own pace but instead we're going to hover to the next section which is going to be the data because it's a section where you can access and manage your data sets remember earlier on the projects we have the data sections right you can add a new data but here in this section now analysts or admins typically work here to prepare data for analysis again you have the data category right here production data transfer sources query and a lot more sections all right so we're gonna go next to the tenant a tenant in Vizier refers to your organization's environment or instance. Now, you can upload a user list or download user list or create a new user, which we're going to do. You just have to enter the email right here. Display name. An employee ID. Click the create button. So we have created. But the thing is, make sure that you have the... Uh, right information because it's usually for admins who manage how Vizier is set up for the whole company because you can have a branding and configuration specific to your organization the last section is going to be the setting where it's a section for general account configurations and personal preferences you can manage your profile of course you can also uh, manage your language or display options notifications including system-wide settings if you are an admin all right so we're gonna go back again to the main homepage, which is because there's another important section here that says data statistics all right if you see that it loads a lot of data for you all right so you can have more or can create a data driven decisions from all of these information having said all of that that's gonna be a wrap for today's video about Vizier basics. Now you have just taken a big step toward making smarter data-driven decisions for your workforce. You would notice that the pricing is not publicly available because you need to click the contact support and get a demo so that they can offer a tailored fit solution to your needs. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.